So you go B. Go Go B. <laughs> Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, Bruno's guts? Really seemed to just grinding that one out there, man. I mean, that's what we wanted to do. You know, it's funny at the end of the second set and uh, in the beginning of the third set, that he, he, the points were not long enough, and we wanted him to have tough physical points. We felt where that's where he had the advantage, and he did a great job in difficult circumstances. Sometimes when you want to play long points, the other guy doesn't want you to, and I think that guy didn't want to, and Bruno just did a good job extending points with his positioning. I asked him if he thought he would ever be in this position before the match. He said no. What does that say about his character for him to pull a result out like this? He's a tough kid. He's a special kid. Uh, he's, a, he's a very special kid, so I'm happy for him that, uh, that he had this moment. Coach, you talked about the fans that it might give you that lift. You, you felt the emotion, you know. Uh, talk a little bit about them and how Bruno played that. All, all day long, doubles point. Uh, we've never, in the last few years, we've never beaten a team of this caliber in doubles before. We've never taken the doubles point out of that. So I think the fans made a huge difference in the doubles. And then uh, going in the singles, you know, it was just a matter of where we were going to be resilient enough. And they obviously have a, they have a very tough team. I mean, at one and two, at the top of the lineup, they're strong. And the guy at six played extraordinarily well today. So I was very impressed with Auburn all the way through their lineup, and uh, and I think the fans were, you know, they, they they're the the sixth man or seventh man, or whatever you want to call them here in tennis, but they were awesome today. But that's just how you had it planned out today. <laughs> just like you, just like you I don't know. You know, it's funny. We talked to a bunch of SEC coaches, and uh, you know, the book on the uh, for them the match was uh, we had no shot in the doubles point, and they thought that the match would go four three one way or another, and uh, so maybe we were a little fortunate that we got that doubles point and it made a big difference today. As you watched him. And especially in the last set, did you feel extremely confident, or how did, how did you think he was doing? I did not like where he was at the beginning of the third set. I okay. didn't like where he was at all. I, I thought he was nervous. He was edgy. He was talking about things that uh, were unimportant and, and irrelevant out there. And and I think uh, Marcos and uh, you know we were able we were able to get him calmed down a little bit and okay. get him in a mode where he needed to be. And and I think Navolo was was hitting on that too. Dennis was back here chirping at him, telling him what to do, and, and that probably helped a lot as well. Did you? Chase the guys off the court, or were they not just not allowed on the court? Well, no, no, no. It's uh, I don't know if it's superstition or not, but the last time we did that, uh, we were off the court and came on the court. We were up 5-0, 40 love against Texas A&M last match on, and we lost it. So I thought let's let's keep that away from that, and we'll have enough of a celebration if we win it.